drifting more than 22 billion kilometers from Earth alone, ancient, nearly forgotten by the very species that created it. Voyager 1, humanity's farthest traveler, was built in the 1970s with less computing power than a pocket calculator. Yet it has survived five decades in the abyss of space, and now, against all odds, it has sent back a transmission that no one expected, a signal that challenges our models of space-time and the structure of reality itself. Scientists are stunned. The numbers don't add up. The energy patterns defy known physics. What did Voyager encounter out there? What is it still trying to tell us? Join us on this cosmic journey as we explore the Voyager 1 just made an impossible discovery beyond the edge of the solar system. Let's find out. This is not science fiction. This is the story of the impossible becoming real. Voyager 1 was launched in 1977, taking advantage of a rare planetary alignment to slingshot past Jupiter and Saturn. After transmitting breathtaking images and data from these gas giants, it was hurled toward the edge of the solar system and beyond. It became the first human-made object to enter interstellar space in 2012, crossing the heliopause, the invisible boundary where the sun's influence fades and the interstellar medium begins. Out there, Voyager entered a region of cold darkness once believed to be empty. But what it found defied that assumption. Instruments detected plasma waves, dense, warm, dynamic, far more complex than scientists had predicted. The space beyond the heliosphere wasn't a void, but a realm full of energy, particles, and turbulence. Magnetic fields didn't vanish. They grew erratic and stronger. The probe wasn't drifting through emptiness. It was crossing through layers, through structures, almost like zones of resistance. Invisible tides pushed against it, whispering secrets of a universe we've barely begun to understand. Each signal it sent back came slower, more strained, but still filled with new data that questioned our models of the cosmos. In 2024, something changed. Voyager 1 began transmitting data analysts, strange echoes in its readings, unexpected shifts in plasma wave density, bursts of magnetism stronger than anything seen before. At first, it was thought to be instrument decay, noise caused by its aging systems. But then came the impossible, a spike in temperature in the outer sensor array, an array not designed to detect thermal radiation in interstellar space especially not structured pulses. These weren't solar remnants. They came from beyond, and they pulsed with rhythm. What Voyager encountered was not random. It followed patterns, repeating in cycles too precise to be coincidence. The probe, now drifting silently across a region where nothing should be, was surrounded by energy signatures that hinted at interaction, at structure. NASA scientists attempted a full diagnostic. But the response from Voyager came back incomplete, delayed, fragmented, but eerily intentional. It was as if the probe was trying to tell us something using the only language it has. Raw data. The solar system, as we once believed, was protected by a shield. The heliosphere, inflated by solar wind, shaped like a giant bubble hurtling through the galaxy. Voyager helped define its edge showing us that it's not static, but ever-changing. However, what Voyager 1 uncovered in its last clear transmissions is that this bubble has fractures, zones where interstellar matter seeps in. The plasma beyond the heliopause is denser, hotter, and more magnetized than any model predicted. This region isn't simply outside. It's alive with forces not born from our sun. And now, there's growing evidence that Voyager 1 may have passed through one of these rifts, entering a domain with fundamentally different properties. The probe's trajectory, still being tracked, showed a tiny but measurable drift, one that cannot be explained by gravity or solar wind. Some researchers have begun to speak in hushed tones about gravitational anomalies or the presence of unknown forces, 
fields that may connect stars like filaments in a vast cosmic web. If that's true, then Voyager 1 didn't just escape our system, it entered a larger one. A hidden structure that binds the galaxy together in ways we've only imagined in theory. As of today, Voyager 1 is still alive, but barely. Its plutonium power source is fading fast. By 2025, it will fall silent, and with it, the last living thread between us and true interstellar space. But what it has already sent back in its final years will fuel decades of analysis. The temperature of interstellar plasma. Twice what we predicted. The magnetic fields. Stronger and more erratic. The particle density. Chaotic. But more than that, it told us something we didn't expect that the boundary between our solar system and the galaxy is not a wall. It's a membrane, a porous, reactive, volatile interface, a place where forces clash, twist, and exchange energy. And Voyager has crossed it. This golden record, inscribed with the hopes and music of humanity, now travels in a space more mysterious than we dare dream. We may never hear from it again, but perhaps, somewhere, something else will. In early 2025, as Voyager 1's signal grew weaker, a new anomaly appeared in the transmission, an ultra-low frequency pulse buried beneath the data stream. It wasn't just noise. Its interval matched the rhythmic plasma patterns Voyager recorded weeks before. When run through a harmonic resonance analysis, the waveform revealed harmonics that were mathematically consistent with known natural frequencies, only magnified and repeated in strange off-scale intervals. Some scientists suggested it could be the product of interference between Voyager and an unseen source, while others entertained something more radical that the signal itself was being modulated by an external structure, not just passing through space but interacting with it. If true, this could mean Voyager had stumbled into a natural transmitter, a region of space behaving like an antenna, refracting and echoing cosmic information through time and distance. The notion was dismissed in public statements, but internal research teams kept running the models. Some called it a cosmic whisper. Others began to call it what it sounded like, a response. Shortly after detecting the low-frequency pulse, navigational data from Voyager 1 indicated a subtle but consistent deviation in its inertial path, not a random drift, not a system failure. The probe was shifting ever so slightly in a way that suggested it was being nudged. Repositioned by something? Its orientation was adjusting toward a fixed coordinate in deep space, not a star, not a known system. Just empty blackness, but Voyager had locked onto it. The probe's antenna, though unable to see or measure in visual wavelengths, realigned as if guided by a vector of information. What could cause this? Gravity anomalies were ruled out. Radiation pressure was negligible. It was as if something out there had gently turned Voyager's gaze like a hand tilting a satellite dish toward a signal only it could perceive. Mission control could only watch as the trajectory continued to bend ever so slowly, like a compass finding north in a magnetic field no one could detect. A few researchers began whispering a terrifying possibility that Voyager wasn't just wandering anymore. It had been found... In the weeks that followed, Voyager 1's instruments continued to behave unpredictably. One by one, dormant subsystems powered on without command. Old sensors that had been offline for decades began transmitting raw, unfiltered data in bursts. But what they sent back didn't match anything in Voyager's original programming. The files were compressed in unfamiliar formats, their structure mathematically sound, but completely foreign. At first, engineers thought it was corruption from cosmic rays or low-voltage surges, but then came the real shock. The data sets showed coherent patterns resembling encryption, not from Earth, and not from any known machine. Linguistic AI was applied not to decode language, 
but to identify the possibility of symbolic logic. What came back shook the team. The patterns didn't correlate to Earth-based encryption, but they mirrored the recursive structures seen in Voyager's low-frequency signal anomalies. In short, the data had form, meaning some researchers now believe the probe may have passed through an environment, artificial or otherwise, that left an imprint, like a fingerprint, in its memory. That memory is now on Earth and no one knows what it truly contains. There's an ancient fear hidden beneath every scientific breakthrough that we might uncover something we weren't meant to. With Voyager 1's unexplained behavior, its altered course, its mysterious data pulses, a new theory has begun to circulate, not just among fringe thinkers, but among serious astrophysicists and cosmologists. The theory is simple and terrifying. Voyager 1 may have passed through a doorway, not a portal in the science fiction sense, but a region of space-time where boundaries become thin, where information, matter, and energy do not behave as expected. These regions might be rare natural phenomena, or they might be something else entirely. If such a threshold exists, and a Voyager crossed it, then it may have triggered a chain of events that we are only beginning to perceive. The probe's silence, its data corruption, and its bizarre sensor activations might not be errors. They might be side effects of crossing into a domain not designed for human machines. Or human eyes. For now, Voyager remains silent again but its last messages are being decoded in secret labs, analyzed frame by frame, pulse by pulse. Because if what it found is real, then something ancient, powerful, and perhaps sentient just made contact. Not with us, but with the machine we sent in our place. Voyager 1 began as a machine. It left Earth, carrying our dreams, our music, our languages a fragile echo of who we were in 1977, but somewhere beyond the edge of our influence, it became something else. Not because we built it for that purpose, but because the universe had other plans. Its journey wasn't meant to end in silence. It was meant to open a door. And now, we stand on the threshold of that door. Staring into data we cannot fully decode, Watching as a machine with no consciousness sends back signals we were never supposed to understand. It points to something, something far out there, that exists beyond our definitions of life, space, or structure. Something that didn't just observe Voyager, but maybe responded to it, maybe redirected it, maybe used it to speak in a language we haven't yet learned how to hear. This isn't about a dying probe. This is about a message. One that didn't originate from Earth. One that doesn't belong to us. One that might not even be finished yet. We may have sent Voyager out to say we are here. But now, across the void, something has whispered back. What do you think Voyager 1 found out there? Was it a structure, a field, a message, or something far beyond human comprehension? Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Please tell us your opinions in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.